Hey guys, welcome to Cora's channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bedspread for your Calico Critters kids room. Before I get started, let's show you how it's going to look. Ta-da! Cute, huh? So we customized our wallpaper and we needed a custom bedspread to match our room. Ready to get started? First, we're going to need a pattern. So I'm going to measure my bed. My bed is two and a half inches wide, four and a quarter inches long, and seven eight inches high. It's okay if we don't have the same size bed. This method of creating a bedspread will still work for you. You're just going to want to add um, a quarter inch around, all the way around your pattern, uh, more than your measurements, so that you have room for your seams. In addition to the ruler, you're also going to need scissors, fabric, seven and a half by ten inches, a piece of paper, sewing machine, thread, a hand needle for the finishing touches, and fluff for your pillow. Your pattern will be four rectangles. For the top of the bedspread, you'll have a rectangle three inches by four and five eighths inches. The rectangle for your pillow will be two and five eighths inches by three and three quarters inches. I've added a fold line. If your fabric has a fancy pattern that you want front and center, use the fold line to line that up. There we go. The foot of your bedspread will be one and one quarter inch by three inches. And the side of your bedspread, you're gonna need two of these, will be one and one quarter inch by four and five eighths inch. Now you have your pattern. Let's get your fabric. The next step is to lay out and pin down your pattern Make sure that you're going to do two of the bedspread side pieces. Your pieces don't have to be perfect, but when working with miniatures, it's best to get them as close to exact as you can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we have all of our pieces, we're going to head over to the iron. Starting with our bedspread top, we are going to fold the shorter side over about a quarter of an inch and iron it down. This will give us a nice hemline. Next, we're going to do the foot you're going to fold the short corners over, iron them down, again about a quarter of an inch. And then you're going to do one of the long edges because the other edge will sew to the top of the bedspread. If it's not looking quite square, this is the time that you're going to want to refold it and do a little bit better ironing. Cutting's not that big of an issue. You can fix it when you iron and when you sew. That looks better. Now we fold the bottom over, pull those other two in, and iron. We're going to do the same thing to the two bedspread sides. Before we sew all the pieces together, I like to check and make sure all of my pieces line up. There we go, the footboard lines up perfect. Sideboard is lining up. There we go. And then with the top piece, you just wanna make sure that it's bigger and all the rest of the adjustments you can make as you're sewing the pieces on. So perfect, looks like all around we've got about a quarter inch seam allowance. Great, to the sewing machine. Starting with the bedspread footer, we are going to sew around the edges 
This is going to give it a nice finish. You just have to go slowly and carefully, making sure that you keep that fold down and trying to sew right in the center. Next, we'll attach the footer to the top of the bedspread. You're going to want to center it, leaving about a quarter inch on either side. And then you'll sew the two together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Your footer is now attached and you're going to want to iron right along the seam, right like this. Before we do that though, we are going to flip over and sew the hem at the top. Again, slowly, carefully trying to stay in the center. Next, we'll sew around the edges of both side pieces, same as we did to the footer. Now it's time to assemble our bedspread. Take one of your side pieces, line it up on the top piece. Perfect, it's the right length. It looks like I might have a little bit extra on the bedspread for the seam allowance. I'm gonna check it on my bed, line those up. And yep, perfect right about there. It's great to have the bed, that way you always get it exact. You won't have to pull your stitches out and re-sew. I'm going to sew that line and then I will do the same thing for the other side. All right, sewing of the bedspread is complete. I'm just going to check the fit of the bedspread. Looks good. Now I need to fold these seams just like that. Iron right there. Fold the other side, same thing, right down the center. Iron right there, and the same with the footer. Tuck in that seam and iron right there. And now we make the pillow. Fold nice side to nice side. Leave a little gap on the corner and then sew the rest of the way around. You want to make sure that gap is big enough so you'll be able to turn this pillow inside out when you're done, but not too big because you have to hand sew the gap. Now it's time to carefully inside out your teeny tiny pillow. To get the corners as square as possible, I poke them very carefully with a rounded pair of scissors. Once inside out, stuff your pillow full of fluff. As much or as little as you like. I like really fluffy pillows, so I'm going to stuff a lot of fluff in. And now it's time for the finishing touches. The bedspread is a perfect fit. The pillow, ta-da! All right, so what you're going to want to do to finish it up is you're going to add two stitches, one on each side. So fold those, line them up, put a single stitch right about there, tie a knot. You're going to flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Flip your bedspread right side out and you are done with your bedspread. It's time to finish up the pillow. Take your needle and you're just going to close this tiny little gap. Very teeny tiny stitches and try and get the edge to be square like the other three sides. Perfect and squishy. There we go. And you're done. Time to move it into the dollhouse. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more fun videos.